Hello everyone, today I'm back with a new little tutorial, and this is something that's pretty cool. Now, due to entity cramming and all that stuff, we no longer can make this as extreme as it could be, but it's still pretty awesome. Because in 1.9, um, an update was released where, like, cows, you can't Basically, you can't just walk through cows and stuff, you know. They give that little bump, and you bump back also, yeah. So that's kind of what this is based off of. Sorry, cow, man. Sorry, man. Bye. Rip. But anyways, that's what this kind of stuff is based off of. So, yeah. Alright, so. How to build this is very quite simple. And I'm not going to do a game mechanics tutorial for this because I basically just told you all of it into three crap, but yeah. So here's how we're gonna do it. Let's see how far I get launched. Hold up. Alright. So I stay to the back of this. Boom. Okay, I get launched to right here. Alright, so that's where the little cow heads need to be. Okay, so they need to be at this level. So we can make them a little tube, kind of, I guess, tube, yeah, that works. And you're going to want to fill in those sides like so. Yeah. Alright. And then, yeah. Alright, so we'll fill those up with cows. Very simply, just do that until the entity cramming thing starts kicking in and they start dying and make sure they are adult cows so like if you're using spawn eggs then just you know do this or you can just wait until they're all adult cows all right so there we hit the entity cramming limit all right so now we've got that and we need to get these guys in a smaller space. So how we do that? Let's go ahead and put a roof on this. Actually, let there we go. There we go. Right and that. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Well, what I can do to fix that is kind of what we're going to do in just a second. Have this piston like that. And there we go. Alright. And I probably should have done that for this one too. Oh. Alright. Very easy. Perfect. Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and extend this ice. Just a few out. There we go. Alright. And then we're going to need to do the same thing. And this may seem a little weird. This may seem a little weird, but now we're going to put a piece of glass into their actual little cage thing. And I thought it would kill them, but apparently it doesn't. See? Like that. Yeah. And so now their little heads are sticking out. Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now let's try this thing out. So we're going to... Oops. <laughs> totally missed that. Hang on this corner. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, I forgot. Yeah. Oops. Forgot these little cow fellers. But yeah, whatever. That's how you do it. I want to see what kind of designs you can make for transportation and stuff like that. And, you know, just kind of maybe make a video on cool transpor transportation things you came up with and I will gladly look at them and see what kind of ideas you came up with so yeah this thing is pretty satisfying to use and you know you can make a cow launcher thing that'll launch them back and forth I might work on that it sounds pretty fun I don't know why it just does yep but anyways that's really all for this video uh 
I guess I'll do kind of a little game mechanics section in this, but I'm not going to make an actual video about it. Alright, so game mechanics, let's get to it. Alright, cows. Uh, let's make a little tube. Like this. Okay, if you didn't already know, entities, um, you can only put 25 entities in one spot. So, let's go ahead and get up to 25. Alright, there we go. Got up to 25, perfect. You see they start dying. If we turn on our F3 screen and look at the E, oops, we see 25, hold on, I might need to move around here. Oh, 24, I guess we're one behind. E, oh, now we have 26, what the, okay, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. Now do we have 20? yeah, there we go, alright, 25. And if you don't see it, the E is right there. Yeah, right there. Alright, so, the other game mechanic this is based on is ice. Ice helps you travel faster. It's one of the fastest ways to, like, get from one place to another. It's, that's the same thing for items, too. So, that is another reason why that works. Uh, and, really, that's all... Oh, yeah, and if you didn't see already how, like, how I got these little heads into one spot, and if you're kind of puzzled with that, remember what I did. I just, at head level, I went out, oops, went out a few blocks, um, made sure there was one right there, had a piston there, and then I just put redstone, a redstone thing right there, and yeah, that works. Now one will be sticking out the side. But yeah, I thought it would kill him. Apparently it doesn't. Just trust me on that. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're doing this in survival, that's awesome. That That's actually awesome. I recommend doing, like, some kind of cow breed or something. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, good luck with that if you're doing that in, in survival. And what I recommend if you're going to do that in survival, just get two cows into the pen right there. And then just breed them and might be kind of a slow process, but you know, let's breed them, yeah. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, one more thing we're going to do, real quick, is see how many blocks exactly it launches us at maximum. Oops, I hit the wall. Dang it. Okay, so yeah, that's what I thought. One, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it launches you 10 blocks exactly. So yeah. And what was I also going to say? I can't remember. I know I'm missing something. Dang it. I can't remember though. Hold up. Let me think. Yeah, okay. I have no idea what I was missing. I couldn't figure it out. Oh, wow. I just remembered. Okay. When you're making this little tube and you want to make sure the cows actually hit you, you see, if you go to the front of this block, nothing will happen. But as soon as you go back, something actually happens. So when you're jumping off of this block, you need to stay against this for it to actually come in contact with the cows. So yeah, that's what I was going to say. But anyways, um, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, comment on what other types of videos you want to see, and if you didn't know something and I just taught you something cool yeah you know just go ahead and leave a like comment subscribe of course but yeah so that's all for this video wow I'm gonna be addicted to that just like you know putting the cows in wait oops wrong thing yeah and now they're like in a glass bowl like is that not awesome they're in a freaking glass bowl. But then if I release that, that's so cool. Like, come on. That's awesome. And, you know, they just spread. Yeah, that, that's just so cool. But anyways, thank you for watching. I'm out.